Could you just tell me what you had for breakfast this morning, just for a wee lines? Uh, soda bread and to toasted to soda bread. Fry, sausage, bacon. No, bread. toasted soda bread. <laughs> I'm on a dad, guys. Good man, that's perfect when we're rolling, so we'll get time. Great point of the oval today, what were your thoughts on that game? Yeah, I was, uh, I was really pleased with second half. Um, first half I was, listen, I always have great admiration for my back lane. You know, my back lane were fantastic in the first half and kept us in the game. I think we're lucky to come in. We're lucky to come in, though, look, there's no doubt about that, but it was like the Alamo a lot of the time. Really disappointed that we didn't try to play a wee bit. And uh, told the boys that at half time, I said to them, you know, listen, can't go on, can't continue as, as was there in the first half. So, we're, you know, we're going to have to be brave, brave enough to get the ball down. I make great right decisions, and um, I thought the second half were much, much better. And we're, we're, we looked a threat of which we didn't look in the first half, but uh, I thought we defended brilliantly tonight. And our, you know, our back five and goalkeeper were superb. But you need your back five to be on top of everything uh, coming to the oval. Uh, we're not meant to. We're meant to, meant, meant to pick points up here. So um, we're over the moon. I'm over the moon with the boys. I told them to go and have a good night with their wives, partners, girlfriends, boyfriends, whatever, and. Uh, now, what I call it, I'll have a good night myself. That's a, it's a wonderful performance, uh, second half especially. And uh, you know they make me really proud when they come to places like this here, especially in the second half. And you know they were they were heroes in the second half. They laid everything in the lane, they left everything out in the pitch, they threw themselves in front of things. But whoa, if we could have just nicked that at the end, there that would have been like the the perfect storm, as they say. And obviously, you've, you've come here, you've got a point. You've you've picked up three points against Cliftonville. They're not games you're necessarily supposed to get points at. Next week is maybe that's one of your targeting for Zengalan. Yeah, well, that's that's our cup. That's that's one of our cup fans this year. They're the games we've targeted all season. We've picked points up really when we're not nobody's expecting us to pick them up. So that's a massive bonus. But we know uh, the Dungannon game's a huge game, and it'll be a massive st stride if we can if we can beat Dungannon next week. It'll be a really difficult game. They're they're coming good again. Uh, Chris has them has them go, going again. So. We know it'll be a really tight game next week, and uh, but we also know that if we can if we can get beat, beat them next week, then we're we're really really close to uh, getting the achieving what we wanted to at the start of the season. And just looking at today, you picked up a lot of yellow cards today. Is that a bit of an issue? Bit of a feisty game, though. Well, I think I think he'll get yellow cards in games like this here. There's some cheap fouls, and I think Keith was a wee bit a wee bit uh, too too uh, quick to go to his pocket. To be honest, we don't see too many bad fouls, but again. You know, it is what it is. You know, I think you're you're going to be there's going to be a lot of challenges and a lot of wee niggles in a game like this for a club like ours coming to a, a, a top side like this. So I'm not going to moan too much about the Alec yards. You know, I thought I thought some of them were very wee bit harsh, but uh, we'll sleep all right tonight. And I don't think anybody's suspended for next week, as far as I know. I'm not getting any A's there, so I think we've got everybody available for the Dungan game. That's that's the most important thing. And just last year, go over to Harry Duffy today because he was brilliant. Yeah, he's super. Super, you know, I, as I, he, he came at a time it was really difficult to come into the team. We were, we were doing a lot of chaps and changes. We lost James Fern for a long time. Chrissy Rogers was out for a long time, and you know Danny Mc. We've been chopping and changing the, the back three, so it's difficult. And uh, initially, when he came in, he was finding it hard. But I think we've got a stability now, and he looks. He looks uh, tonight. He was excellent. You know, made saves at the right time. His, his uh, handling was super. So that's all good. And he's still a young boy. So um, no, I'm really pleased for him tonight. But I think all the praise goes to everybody. I think we'll work our socks off. Our back back three centre halves were superb. Two wing backs were superb. Midfield in the second half. I'll only say the second half was superb. And again, young Gone and, and Mickey worked their socks off, and, and young Daniel came on and looked a real threat when he came on. So, a really, really good night for us and a really good night for the club. Thanks so much. No problem. All right, so.